Hey guys, welcome back to Coin Knowledge. Today I want to do a video on how to get started in Krabata. Um, I did a video on it uh, a little while ago, uh, just on Krabata as a whole. But today I actually wanted to kind of do a deep dive on how to get into it if you were coming into this game uh, for the first time. So first thing is that this game is on the Avalanche Network. So if you have your MetaMask set up on your computer and you have your wallet set up, you just want to make sure that you are on the Avalanche uh, mainnet C chain right here. So that's the first thing, and you're going to need Avalanche in your wallet to cover gas transactions and to get the tokens that you're going to need for this game. So, first thing, we're just on the main website. We've been here before. I'll just hit play and game. And Krabata, what it is, that it's a play to earn idle game, meaning that you play the game, but Really, it's you're just on idle a lot. You don't really actively go in there and control your crabs and what they do. Not not yet. The battle game is coming uh, in May, but that's for another video. But first thing you want to do is, once you're in the home page, you want to go to Marketplace. You want to get your hands on a crab. And I can show you here, uh, if we go to Manage Teams, you don't need a full team. So yeah, I don't have any right now on this account. But teams of crabs are made of three, three crabs. Now, that's a common mistake that people make is that they feel, you know, you need you need three crabs to get started in this game, in this economy. You don't. You can just start with one crab. So if you just go to the marketplace and we can look at the floors right now. So the cheapest crab is about $800, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it. Might be the cheapest it really ever has been. Um, in a while at least. And the biggest thing you want to do here, which I wish I knew up front, because I think when I bought my first crab, I just I did just this. I looked at the cheapest crab and I just went off the design. I think I actually bought an uh, an AVAX crab like this. And I bought it at the floor, and it's you know, when you get into the game you start to realize, Oh, I bought a bad crab. And uh nobody wants bad crabs. That's uh that's a rough time. So what you want to do is, if you're going to buy any crab, it's, it will be a little bit more, but it will make it worth it 100%. Spend a little bit more and do get these crabs I'm going to tell you to get. get. Go to Purity 6. No matter what, always make sure that you have pure crabs. Definitely, it's worth it. If you go to, let's go Idle Game, because Battle Game's not out quite yet. We go Idle Game. You'll see their stats, battle points, and mining points. and You'll notice when you're in the marketplace that there's eight different classes of crabs. Right now, for the longest time, it was pure bulks. That was a crab you wanted to get. And I think they're still not bad to get. Uh, so, I mean, a pure bulk crab is, you know, 800 and a quarter, you know, $825 right now, roughly. So, I mean, if you have to get, especially if you're going to get one crab to rent out in the tavern, which we'll get into here in a little bit. I don't think you'd be bad getting a bulk, really. But the three that I recommend is either go pure bulk or go pure prime. Because the nice thing about primes is that you actually get a 10% bonus for your mining rewards. Once you have a team of three and can do mining expeditions, you get a 10% bonus. So no matter what team you configure, I would at least have a pure prime in that team. And kind of the meta or the go-to team configurations right now, if in my opinion, is a team of uh, two primes and a crab boid, or a team of one prime and two crab boids, or even a team of, of three pure crimes, I think, or probably primes wouldn't even be a bad, but, or you can go to crab boids too. I, what I run is I do, I have a team of two primes in a bulk, and a team of one prime and two crab boids and a couple other configurations, but I like the, the prime and crab boid strategy a lot, but again, back to that 10% reward on the prime. So you can go, but for the first one, if you have to pick one crab to start out right now, I would go a pure crab boid crab for sure. For if you're going to do one, cause they rent extremely well in the tavern, cause they do have a, a bonus or attack bonus against primes, which everyone likes, Everyone's going to have primes because you get that bonus. And another thing to keep note of is that look at the breed count. Like myself, personally, I should, but I don't do a lot of breeding in this game. But it is something to keep 
note of when you're buying a crab is your breed count. So like this one has a four breed count. Crabs can get bred up to five times. If you ever have plans, for two reasons you want to look at it. If you have plans on breeding in the future, it gets really expensive, really past two or three breed counts. So four is just, it makes no sense for right now, unless you introduce something later. And also for resale, you know, if I'm looking between the two crabs, I'm not going to buy the forward breed count. I don't think I would ever buy a forward breed count right now. Um, so what I like to do is I, had, the most I usually go is two breed. So, I mean, you can see the price difference, you know, 1,200, 1,022 for two breed versus a three bread is, you know, $20 less. I'd go at least two, at least. If you can go lower, then even all the better, but you can see it's a ginormous price difference to even go to like a virgin or a zero bread crab. And for a reason, there's not a lot of one bread for sales, which I get, it's cheap. So just go two bread. And again, if you're looking at crabs, bulk, prime, craboid, always make sure you have six out of six purity. And just, it's not, I mean, it's not necessary, but I just recommend keeping an eye for the breed count. And I would at least max go two breed count if you can swing it. Or you can just scoop up some floors. But once you have a crab, you go to Crabata. And actually, like if you click on a crab, the currency to buy them is you don't use just straight up uh, Avalanche or Avax. You actually use their utility token within the Crabata game, which is Tusk or Treasure Under the Sea. And how you get your hands on that is so if you go to Coin Gecko. We'll see here the price of Tusk right now, their contract address, and what I like about Coin Gecko versus like Coin Market Cap, just in general, is if you ever look at a, a token like Treasure Under the Sea, you can just hit the little fox, add to MetaMask, that way you don't have to import the contract address within MetaMask and just add token, boom. Just a little you know tip while we're here, uh, if you click it, you have Tusk right there, but Treasure under the sea right here. That's how you add it to your MetaMask. You can grab the contract address and you will go to. There's another token they have too, Craw is their governance token, their main token. But Treasure under the sea is what you're going to want to go to to buy a crab. We'll see right here. We'll just go 18,500 Tusk. And you go to Trader Joe, is Avalanche's main decks and where you're actually going to be buying these tokens. You can buy them with Avalanche. And what's nice is that you don't, they're already in Trader Joe. You don't have to put in a contract address. You can go Tuss or you can go Craw. But for right now, we're going to go Tuss. Select Tuss. Um, what did I say? 18,500. And I don't have any Avalanche, so it's not going to let me. But you just put 18,500 Tuss here. Approve Tuss. And then swap it for your Avalanche. You have the Tuss go into your wallet. Then you will go back to the marketplace. When you have the TUS, buy it. It'll bring up another MetaMask transaction. Approve it. Again, have Avalanche in your account for gas fees. Approve it. And then when you buy your crab, it'll go to the inventory page here. And when you have your crab here, you're going to need it. You're not. It's not automatically going to gonna go to manage teams or anything. It'll go to inventory. You have to select it and move it to game. Uh, otherwise, you can breed it. Breed with it if it's in your inventory here. But you want to move it to game. And then when you move it to game, if you have one crab, again, this is a strategy with one crab for right now, what you want to do is go to tavern, and this is a tavern where other players that are doing mining or looting expeditions can actually rent other people's crabs for, you know, for backup in those situations. So what you want to do is look at the floor pricing for the tavern. I usually stick to page one. Uh, if, if you want to get specific, you can go... You know, if, let's say we have a a craboid. We go mine point, highest to low. Which, by the way, once you get mining and looting, I always pretty much use craboids to reinforce everything, and it works well. So if I had a craboid rented right now, I would probably rent it. it personally, to me, really, I would rent my craboid. If you never want to worry about it, I'd rent it for about 16 sixteen fifty. And I know you're saying, well, you can rent it for seventeen, seventeen fifty. You're going to, I mean, to go one tusk cheaper, that's 12 tusks less a day if it's rented out every single day. Because you can rent, when you rent out, somebody rents your crab, it's gone for two hours. And if it's rented all day, it's 12 times. So you're going to get 12 less tusks. 
I mean, that's not even a dollar. It's pennies at that sense. So I, I always go one less than the floor price. And I, so far, I never have to worry about my crabs being rented. So look at the floor price here if you're going to rent out your one crab. And then you hit rent it out. Your crabs will be here. And you can just select one. Hit rent. Set your price. Click it. And it'll be rented. And then to see if it's rented, uh, in the same page, it'll give someone's contact address and say rented and give the amount of time until you, it's not rented. Or you can go to manage teams, and I believe it shows up here as well. And a little bit more on the tavern is if you go here, yeah, so lending, hiring mercenary crabs via the tavern. So again, when people are doing their battles, you can hire Tuss by, you can hire a crab costing Tuss, again, that treasure under C token, that's what you kind of use for everything in this game, and the tavern does charge a 10% fee, but, and you cannot hire crab, like, if you had one crab, you can't hire two more to make a team of three, it doesn't work like that, you have to buy a team of three for right now, and it could change in the future, so, and then, if you do decide to make the investment and get three teams of crabs, you can go to explore, and what I do is mines, I mine, and the standard mine time is four hours. So you would just, well, you go to manage team, have your three crabs. Once you move them from inventory to game, make a team of three crabs. And if you have, like, for example, like two crab boys and a prime, your team will be crab boyed, or vice versa, it'd be prime. It's just the two out of the majority class of crabs. If you have two majority, that's what that team will be. And when you have your teams, just hit start mining expedition. You'll see your team. Select it, hit it, and go. Or you can loot as well. You can see all the different uh, mines out there. You can select to loot them. Looting loot missions take two hours. You can do it twice as fast uh, if you want to do mines. And we'll look at the potential potential earnings of that. So mining expeditions, if you play moderately, which is three times a day, again every four hours. So just three times a day. Um, if you win 50% of the time, these are the rewards you're getting, and you can put it, like, we can look at, oops, we can look at Tuss right here, and go to Treasure Under the Sea, so $34 a day, if you're playing mildly, and we'll look at Craw, and we'll kind of just add these up right here, so about $40 a day, if you're playing mildly, a lot of people don't, I usually try to get five five mines in a day. I don't do the six. I wish I did. It's just, I like my sleep a lot. And not looted, if you win 100% of the time, or if you reinforce and you win your battles 100% of the time, it's kind of difficult to do, but it is doable. I know guys who do it. So, this is, you'd get, you know, about a third more, more in rewards. And looting missions, it just, again, gives the same payouts right there. And these are kind of the different things you can do in the game, in the idle game. Again, teams of crab through Corbata, and you earn Tusk, and when you do expeditions and mining expeditions, you can get Craw token back as well. So mining party, you send them out, they go and mine, and you can see this is this would be rewards without the 10% bonus if you have, you know, again, a prime. If you win, and then looting mission, just vice versa, somebody's looting you, you could be the person looting someone as well. And the different reward, reward rates of looting and again whenever you're in the battle you can go to the tavern and rent reinforcements the battle game that's coming out but that's again that's in a video for the future but yeah either way and it will always show your balance here and when you start Krabata you have a max team of three so nine crabs total but I don't believe there is a max of crabs you can own just in general so if you have three teams I believe you can keep buying crabs and renting them in the tavern I don't think there's a a max on that but yeah guys that is Krabata and how to get started and again just my over my general opinions on what crabs that I would be recommending right now and again the meta always changes so it could change in the future but for right now definitely hands down primes craboids with bulk being close to third and make sure you have six out of six purity pure pure um pure crabs and just a tip that I like to do is I like to at least make it max two breed counts and look at the pricing. And uh, yeah, that's 
just a general overview on how to get started in the Krabata. And then once you have those tokens you earn, again, you could sell them on Trader Joe for profits, get some RRI back. But uh, yeah, guys, that's just a how to get started in Krabata video. Gonna do more videos on Krabata. So people seem to like it in the last video. But uh, anyways, if this helped you out, let me know in the comments below. And if you can like the video, share, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. All right, see you guys.